What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear. And, uh, yeah, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. So, for those of you who know, um, God, this is, this is actually kind of rough to talk about. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna fucking front. It is. Because I know, I, I know for those of you who know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm going to talk about. It's a couple of weeks ago, I had a very rough situation occur and I haven't recorded anything since then. Like, it's been a couple weeks since I stepped in front of this. Well, I mean, I tried to, but it didn't work out. And I've had this on my heart the entire time. And, you know, I, I feel the need to, to, to maybe, you know, confront it one last time. You know, maybe, maybe talk about it. Just be upfront with you guys about it. I was very vague. But I think, I think it's actually time to finally come clean and be honest with myself. Self-deletion is a very touchy subject. It is a very powerful subject. It is a very serious subject. Couple weeks ago, you know, job situation, I was, I was going to self delete that day. When I put that community post up, if it was not for a friend, I would not be here. That's why I always do my best to be there for people because I know what it's like to have felt like it. But even before that day, I never knew what it was like to actually commit. And it is scary. Let me just paint the picture on my way to work. And I had been watching Near Automata, a no commentary playthrough and I was wanting to look at all of the endings. You know, I watched through all what I had did on the channel. Then I had watched ending B and C, so on and so forth. And it was at the part with, and the irony in this is astounding. It was at the part where it was the, the, uh, the, the, the cult where they were all jumping into the lava. Yeah. We all know, for those of you who know that scene, we know what was going on there. And I was, I just had that on my phone going. And I just broke down in tears. And in my mind, I was not there anymore. It felt like a demon. And that's not me putting it in a nerdy or even a religious kind of way. Just stay with me here. Imagine if you will, you got a little imp. We're going to use an imp because imps are the most common enemy that I slay in demon killing games on this channel. We're going to use an imp. Let's say an imp is behind your mind. Let's say an imp is the cause for those thoughts. So you're going through years of battling those thoughts. What you're doing is battling the demon. Because that demon is doing everything in his power to push you in that direction, to make you come to terms with the fact that there is no point. It felt like that demon was celebrating. And... It barely makes any sense to me, but that's how it felt in that moment. When I was thinking about it, this is all I heard. I was alone. I'm an armed security officer and I knew I would be alone. I, I had no, 
I had no game plan coming into this video. I, I just knew that I had to get it out. And I, I want to apologize to you guys. Um, and I, I know it's, it's not my fault that I ended up feeling that way, but as a person who wants to build a community, who wants to build a kingdom, who has the discord now, you know, it's not full, but you know, Hey, I've got a bunch of loyal people in there and that's all I want. That's all I want is a bunch of loyal people together, having fun, chit chatting and loving video games. And you know, that, and, and that's what I want to build with this channel We're we're so close to 4k watch time hours, but I had to, I had to share it. And I, I'm fighting back tears as I'm talking right now. And you know what really drove it? The fact that in my head, I, I hate having an imagination sometimes because the stuff that you can think about is so fucking dark that none of it should ever meet the light of day. I pictured my daughter finding me after I did it. I, um... Shit. I picked... I can't fucking go that far, man. I can't. I just physically can't. It... It hurts so much to think about it. It really does. That... Having them thoughts, man, is one thing. But... Actually coming to terms with doing it, it is, it's a scary thing and it will traumatize you. It will. Just that one thought drives me to tears every time. But that's how you know it was real. And that was probably the most fucked up part about it was that it was real. It was going to happen. <sighs> but it's okay, though. If it was going to, it would have been. And so much has changed since then. You know, finances, we, I, I think we're good on finances. We're going to see how things go over the next week. But I think we, I think we might've, you know, overcame that hurdle. Um, I performed, it was hot as shit. I wasn't able to, I mean, there is footage, but it wasn't footage that I was able to get on my phone. So eventually there will be something put up. It's not the best in my honest opinion. I mean, I had, you know, a, a workout shirt on because it was thin and it would keep me cool. I had these orange and yellow leopard print freaking, uh, no, not a Speedo, swim trunks that I was actually wearing and I was barefoot. It was awkward because there was only two microphones, but we made it work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, circumstances aside, we fucking did that shit. And it's my first performance ever in the books. So we did it. And now I know how it feels. So in my mind, that gives me more of an understanding. Not that I know how anybody feels. I'm never going to assume that. But at least it shows me that I didn't really know what it was like beforehand. And I thought I did. Because of the intensity of those thoughts. But there was still worse to come. And I didn't experience it until years later. 
that just goes to show you never, never give up because you can take a lot. I took a lot, but I'm still here. And that is a blessing to be able to say, I am still here. But when it comes to, you know, the channel, I, I know I had been, you know, slacking for a while, but I'm going to try to get back into it. I'm going to have to work extra going forward, you know, until further notice. So I don't know how the upload schedule is going to go, but I'm going to do my best <laughs> because with the fact that I'm going to be working a 12 Saturday and Sunday, Saturday is my editing day, but I will figure it out. I just wanted to tell you guys that it happened, it was going to, but it didn't. And I'm thankful to have you guys by my side. And I'm thankful to be able to be open about it. And then there's this mask, which I took the picture of and, you know, showed you guys. Coming to the realization that that is in fact how I was going to feel, because trust and believe, I denied it in my heart for the rest of the day. I had to have my father-in-law drive all the way from Colleen to the road between Cove and Gatesville because I didn't want to be by myself. It was this mask and that picture that I put on that community tab that finally made me realize I, I had to take it off. I had to come to the realization that this is reality. And reality is about to end. If, if I don't come to the realization now and work on myself to fix it. I gotta be here for my family. I gotta be here for you guys. I can't. No, not yet. I still got shit I got to do. I still got to succeed. We still, we still got to succeed. Music, you know, content creation. We, we still got work to do. And everything and anything has been happening since I talked about my 30th birthday. Since I planned on actually celebrating, took some vacation time, so you know I'm finna celebrate. You know, ever since I started talking about writing a song for my 30th birthday and even doing a music video for it, ever since I started talking about it, I have felt so excited. And that happiness was used in that last moment, but that some bitch almost got me. That's why I call the video my D-Day. Because D is for demon. And that was the day that the demon almost captured Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm glad I was able to get this off of my chest finally. And I hope it does something for someone else. I want my experience to be able to pay it forward for somebody else that might be going through the same thing, that might have went through a life of hell, that might feel alone even until the final moment and could be at that moment. I want to be that friend that helps somebody like my friend was for me. That's why I always tell y'all reach out. That's why I made the Discord because everybody being in one place, everybody is looking out for everybody because that's what we do. Nobody is alone. Or as my friend says, Ohana means family. I don't really know what much to say after that. So I'm going to grind for a little bit. The quarry is calling my name. I love you guys. Peace out.